What's going on MCU fans? Welcome back to the channel. This is my review and breakdown for the Hawkeye TV series episode 3. The first two episodes dropped last week and I did enjoy them. Little parts were boring, not much happened, but I liked the grounded feel to it in terms of Clint Barton dealing with his past traumas of losing his friends and his family. And now he's caught up in this big mystery protecting Kate Bishop's character, but he just wants to get back to his family for Christmas. So I do like the grounded element too because there's not aliens or massive wars happening. He just wants to get back to his family. The episode opens in 2007 when a young girl who is Echo, Echo is deaf and she also is missing a leg. We get to see in this flashback her connection with her father who ends up being killed which sets her on this path of revenge. This actor is actually pretty good, he was in Fargo season 2, I'm a really big fan of his. But we get a mysterious shot of her uncle, we don't get to see his face but it's been rumoured that Vince D'Onofrio's kingpin will show up in this series and this is him right here because he is now the father of Echo. We get to see her doing some martial arts training, so she's obviously a badass and able to handle herself. But the reason she has this revenge and vendetta against Ronan is to avenge her father, who Ronan killed. But I don't know if it was Clint Barton, because we never got to see the person's face that was in the Ronan suit. So there might be a twist coming where it actually wasn't. Jeremy Renner's Hawkeye, it was actually somebody else. Because remember, he became Ronan after the snap and ended up killing people but I don't know if he killed her dad I'll have to wait and see how that goes the tracksuit mafia captured Clint and Kate which is a very funny group but Echo wants the final information about Ronan and Clint says that Black Widow was the one that killed Ronan and he knows because he was there and Echo thinks that he is lying it's interesting how he used Black Widow I suppose she was the one that brought him back from being Ronan to Hawkeye in Endgame but he escapes and we got an awesome action sequence between Hawkeye and Echo, she smashes his hearing piece, which shows how much he needs it throughout this episode because he can't hear, but he gets his bow and arrow back, he takes on the tracksuit mafia, he fights Echo, some awesome shots here with the bow and arrow, taking them down one by one, he's able to help Kate escape as well, and then she fights one of Echo's men, so yeah, I thought this was pretty good, pretty enjoyable, and the action goes on for about 10, maybe 15 minutes, for the first half of this episode and it was really entertaining especially the one that shot sequence in the car when they're trying to escape and the tracksuit mafia is chasing after them really well done i love one shot sequences so that was awesome to see but they have hank pym arrows which is awesome and each arrow does something different they got to explore the car here as well probably killing these guys they definitely are dead one with acid it was actually kind of fun watching Kate experiment with each arrow because she didn't know what each one did and Clint wasn't able to hear so that's what kind of made it fun but the money shot was the two of them kind of working together right here where this arrow kind of comes together and caused this massive explosion to stop the tracksuit mafia. It was a cool shot, I would have liked to see maybe a different angle of it because it was really well done but yeah the back of the car explodes, doesn't kill these guys which They'll probably pop up in future episodes as well. But yeah, I thought it was pretty cool. And then the rest of the gang with Echo is shooting at them. And they're able to jump off the side of the bridge. And they land on a subway and they escape. So I thought for 10-15 minutes that was pretty entertaining. Probably better than the first two episodes combined. Funny shot here in the subway. Kate's like, we should probably bring the dog for a walk. He's been in all day. And Clint can't hear her. Then he says something similar as well. So that was kind of fun. But a very emotional scene was when Clint's son called him but he couldn't hear so Kate had to write down what he was saying on a piece of paper then he would reply and he said he wouldn't be home for movie night so that kind of was devastating for him and kind of hard to watch but great acting from Jeremy Renner there terrific stuff but then we got another mention of the uncle who I guarantee it is Vincent D'Onofrio's kingpin because he's supposed to show up and they don't want to upset him whatsoever they go to get Clint's hearing piece fixed so he can hear again obviously and Kate draws him a new costume that she thinks will be good for him, you know, in purple or all black with the letter H on it for Hawkeye. And Hawkeye simply says, I don't need a costume. I don't want one. I'm not a role model, which was kind of hard to watch as well, because Clint is a very troubled guy. And I hope as the episodes go on, we dive deep into this because he's gone through so much. And Kate, who was inspired by Hawkeye because he saved her life, says you are a role model. So that's an interesting dynamic there. But we've got more information about the person who was over Echo because he's saying that Echo isn't the leader, she isn't the main one, there's somebody over her which is probably her uncle Kingpin and he says he's not one to be messed with whatsoever, he's come across him before so that's already awesome so I can't wait to see that happen. Then Kate is very you know suspicious of her mother's new fiance, 
she thinks he's the one that killed Armand and maybe is involved with some shady business as well. So they go to their mom's house because she has a database to just look at everyone's information, I suppose. And she's trying to find out more about him and also maybe the what's going on with the Echo character. But then General Renner's character, Hawkeye, is walking through the house. And then we have Tony Dalton's character, who is the fiancé for Kate's mother is holding him at kind of knife point with the sword basically at his throat so that was the ending i will say they need to work on the endings for each episode because it just ends and it doesn't feel like oh i can't wait to watch the next episode it just ends come on do something different do a cliffhanger or something like this isn't really that interesting but like tony Dalton's character they're setting them up to be a villain but i don't think he is whatsoever so i could expect to see a scene right after this where you know he makes a funny joke and he he holds the sword back. Like, I don't expect them two to fight. Maybe they will. That would be pretty cool, you know. But I don't think they will in that sequence whatsoever. Kate will probably run in and save the day. But, like, that's what I'm talking about. It's not really a big cliffhanger. It's not like I need to watch the next episode. It's just kind of ends out of nowhere. That's kind of my main complaint. But, yeah, episode, not a lot happened. It was just really good action for about 10, 15 minutes at the start, which I really, really enjoyed with Echo, with Clint. The car sequence, the one-shot sequence, terrific stuff. Really enjoyed that. But it didn't really move the story forward that much either. Well, we got some name drops about the uncle, who is probably Vincent D'Onofrio's return as Kingpin. So I'm excited to see that. But this is episode three. We only have three episodes to go. It's a very short miniseries for Hawkeye. But I like the grounded feel to it. And I hope they dive deeper into the psychological battle that Clint is going through with the loss of his friends and his family. And also trying to get to his family for Christmas. But guys, did you like this episode of Hawkeye? Episode three at is better than the first two combined let me know your thoughts below give a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next video guys have fun